This is Mr. Mike Kaufman, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new creation tools on Google Earth to create dynamic and engaging stories using the power and all the features that Google Earth has to offer. Let's get started. To get started, go to google.com slash earth, or search Google Earth and click on the link. To launch Earth, click on the button in the bottom left hand or top right hand corners. Once Google Earth is launched, to begin using the creation tools, you're going to go along the left hand menu to the fifth icon down named Projects. From here, you can choose to edit a previous project or start a new one. The first thing you want to do is give your project a title. In this case, I'm going to do a little tour of Mexico, so that would be my title. I'm also going to add in a description that gives my audience members a sense of what this tour is going to be about. Notice it's been automatically saved to Drive. Once you've named your project, you're now ready to begin adding features. To do that, you're going to click on the drop down menu and notice the different ways you can add a new feature. You can search out a place, add a place marked directly on the map, draw a line or shape, or add a full screen slide. Full screen slide acts as a great way to introduce your project or to show your audience members a transition between one section and another. I'm going to begin my project with a full screen slide. Because this is the start of my project, I'm going to title it and add in a short description. I also want to add an image that's going to hook my audience and start them off right. To do that, I'm going to click on the plus camera icon. To add images, you can do so by uploading directly from your computer, doing a Google image search, adding videos from YouTube, from your drive, your photos, or an image URL. In this case, I'm going to add some images from Google Drive. I've already uploaded images for my project in one folder named Mexico Images to make it easier for me to find. And in this case, I want to add an image that's really going to grab my audience's attention, and I'm going to do so with the Guadalajara Cathedral. Once I've done this, I can now preview my work to see what it's going to look like. There's my image, my title, and my short description. Looks great. Now I can continue editing by doing the back arrows twice to get returned to this screen. One way to add a feature location is to click the drop down arrow on the new feature button and search to add place. In the search bar, you can search a specific address, a location, a landmark, or anything else on Earth. I'm going to check out Sayulita in Mexico. Once here, I can now choose to add this to my project by clicking the Add to Project button. I can give it a title or leave the one that's already there, and then choose to either save it and move on, or to edit to personalize the location. That's what I'm going to do. The first thing I want to edit is the description. I don't want to use the one provided by Google. Instead, I want to customize it and make my own description. I'm going to do that by clicking Replace. The title I'm going to leave but I'm going to add in a short description about Sylitha. I can customize my work through the text style, bold, italics, adding links, paragraph style, removing all of this formatting, or going to HTML. I can also determine whether I want a small information box or a large information box to show off the information. To change, click down the drop down menu and choose the one that you want. I can also customize the place mark. I can choose different sizes, different icons, or change the color. If none of these place marks work for you, click on the three dot menu and choose see more icons. From here, you can choose to either scroll through the many icons or use the filter to find one that you're looking for. I'm going to change the color to blue since it's the beach. The next thing I can do is add images to really help my audience members visualize all the wonderful parts of my location. To do that, again, click the camera plus icon. In this case, I'm going to go back to my drive folder and add the images I've already saved there. To add additional photos, click the camera icon again. Continue to do so until all your images have been added. The next thing I want to do is I want to change the view that my audience is going to get of Sayulitas. In this case, this two-dimensional map view doesn't do this place justice. 
Instead, I want to give them a street view by taking my street view icon and dragging it to either a blue line or a blue circle, indicating where there's a 360 degree street view image. And then drop it where you want. In this case, this is a great option to start off my audience. If I don't like it, I can click the back menu. If I do like it, I'm going to click capture this view. Now to add additional features, I'm going to click the back menu and go back to the feature button. All right, I'm now ready to add a new feature location. I'm going to use the search again. In this case, I'm going to search Guadalajara, Mexico. I'm going to add it to the project. Again, I'm going to go in and edit. And just like before, I'm going to replace the information that Google provided and add my own. I can add text box. In this case, I'm going to change the size of my text box to a large info box. Again, go and customize my place mark and add images. Now, in this case, instead of adding a street view or the two dimensional one, I'm going to add a three dimensional view. First, I'm going to zoom in on the exact location of the city that I want to use. From here now, I can switch to three-dimensional view. Let's zoom in a little more. Now I can click and drag my mouse pad back and forth, or if I hold down the shift key and do the same, I can now adjust my view and adjust the angle. Something like this with the mountains in the back looks great. Again, I'm going to click capture view and then go back to add a new location. You can also add locations by adding a place mark directly on the map. To do so, click the drop down menu on the new feature button and click add place mark. Then add the place mark anywhere on the map that you choose. Once you've selected your location, give it a title and then either save or click edit to customize the features and information about this location. Another feature on the creation tools on Google Earth is to be able to draw lines or shapes directly onto the map. To do so, click new feature and select draw line or shape. This might be a great way to highlight an important road, a river, or any other natural feature or area within Google Maps. When you're done, click enter to save the line. Give it a name, and then again save or edit. Some things I do want to point out with editing is similar to the previous locations, you can add images as well as text information. You can also then adjust the color of the line as well as the thickness. To add a shape, again, click on draw a line or shape, then begin drawing your line around the area of the map that you want to highlight. Turn it from a line to shape, all you have to do is go back to the original point and click on it to close it. Again, give it a name. And when you click on edit, an additional feature that you have to the outline color and the outline width is to then also adjust the fill color. You can change the color as well as the percent of fill. From zero, totally transparent, to 100, which covers up just about all of it. Last thing I want to cover are a few more important features for you to know about your general tour. The first thing is you can always change the order of the locations. Simply click and drag to change the order. To re-edit one of the locations, hover your mouse over it and click the pencil edit feature icon. From there, you can go in and arrange the text, add photos, and make any edits like you originally had done when you first added the location. The next feature is to be able to preview your presentation. So you can do it either in the present mode or when in the location, you can click preview presentation. This will give you then a view that your audience is going to see. In the down left hand corner, you can click next to see the different locations. Notice on the right side of the screen are the images as well as the text information that you originally added. Here you can see the difference between a large text box 
and the small text box. To go back to the edit view, click your back arrow. Finally, like other Google products, you can share your work. To do so, click the share project icon, share it with someone specific, or click on advanced and change the settings to make it public or anyone with a link. After you make a change, remember to hit save.